welcome to a Frank's Flip, and we're talking about oil changes today, and I'm joined with Don, quality control manager here for the Frank Motors Group, and we're at Frank Toyota today in the Fast Lane Service Department. Now, oil changes, obviously essential. Why? If you've invested in your new Toyota, you want to keep that warranty up, you want to change your one on a regular basis. Okay, and then as far as when you say regular basis, how often do I need to do it? Because I've heard 3,000 or 5,000 or 10,000. How do I know what my car does, or how often it needs to be? You want to look in your owner's manual. Okay. Your owner's manual is going to tell you whether you have a 5,000 mile interval or a 10,000 mile interval. Okay. The newer synthetic is a 10,000 mile interval. All right, so that's my Bible for my car, right? That my is. Owner's manual. That's it. Now, uh, another thing is, you know, some people will drop their cars off, which I, I do, and then I kind of go wait in the waiting room and I go, well, I hope they did everything, and I don't really know what they're doing out there. So, I would love to see it first hand. If you got a chance, can we walk through this whole, this whole process? Let's get under the hood. All right, sounds Let's good. Let's go. We're gonna have to get you the proper tires. You okay. Put on a pair of yeah. safety glasses. Oh my gosh, this is big. Are they 3D? Or no? No, they're not. Yes. We'll leave on the tag on it just in case I need to return them. All right, this is nice. I've never been like under the hood like for an oil change. All right. So what's the first? So we got first you under step? the hood now. So we're gonna look at a few important fluid levels. Okay. One, you have your cooler reservoir. We're gonna take a look at that. Make sure it's at the proper level. Okay. The fluid level in this reservoir will go up and down a little bit with temperature. We're gonna to top off your your washer fluid. We're gonna go over here. There's your. This is your oil. That okay. is the proper oil for this vehicle. So this is zero uh, twenty weight. And oil. you can find that in the manual as well. Correct. That okay. is in your own manual. Another thing we're gonna look at over here is we're gonna look at your brake reservoir. We're gonna make sure if, that if your brake pads are wearing, this fluid's gonna level is gonna go down. So we're gonna know we want to check the brakes. Okay. Right now that's looking really good. Okay. And we're gonna go over here. We're gonna take a look at your air filter. Come in here. Check this out. And that's looking good, pretty clean. Yeah, it's got a leave in it, but it's not bad. It's got. <laughs> awesome. All right. No, no. The, the, real quick about the air filter. I mean, that that's a huge part of having your engine run smoothly. Right. Correct. You'll okay. burn. You'll burn a lot more gas if that's a dirty filter. Okay. Because you want it and, and it would be cooled and whatnot. And, uh, okay. Fantastic. All right. Great. What else? So next, we're gonna uh, remove the oil cap and we're okay. gonna go up in the air. Step two, the oil change process, and on we're under the car, which is I've never been under a car on the lift right here, so this is fun. So tell me what's going on now. Well, what we're gonna do now is we're gonna start the oil draining, okay. and as we have the oil draining, we're gonna do a quick inspection around the car. All right. And then what I'm gonna have you do is I'll have you start doing a little inspection. Fantastic. So let me get the oil draining. Okay. Get this in here. It could be a part of it. We're gonna make it interact. All right. You need me to look right now where I, where I need to be? Am I just looking for like trips what, and... What you're going to be looking is you're going to inspect around the transaxle pan. Okay. If you see any sign of any leakage, everything's good. Right. We're going to check axle seals, make sure those are good, those okay. are all concerns. You can inspect brakes, your CV boots. We okay. can do a lot of a looking okay. from here. We're going to look for any cool leakage. Okay. Any sign of that there may be uh, an issue with your vehicle that we need to address. So most importantly, I'm looking for fluid. That's, that shouldn't I should be able to see fluid at this point until you know you open yes. up. Uh, you, and you, should, you, not, you should not see any leaks. Okay. If fantastic. you find a leak, we got to talk about it. We got to talk. About okay. It. Fantastic. All right, so we're gonna drain everything out, or do you want to? We want to look for leaks first. We're gonna do. You're gonna do a quick look. Okay. So you're gonna, and you can see all up in the engine. Okay. Okay. You can get up here around the front. Okay. You're gonna look up, and you can see like you see the AC compressor. We have the starter, so you can inspect all these. All right. Okay. Everything Don, look good for you. Don, everything's looking pretty good to me. It looks dry, and uh, I don't see anything. You want to double check my work, though? No, I'm already doing that. All right. <laughs> we're looking really good on this car. All right, fantastic. Well, perfect. So now, what do we do? Now we gotta get a wrench so we can drain the oil. All right. Now the next step is we're going to replace the oil filter itself. Okay. Now this one comes with a housing. All right. And the new, what is it? nice about this is this is your oil filter now. This is what All we're right. going to be changing. That looks a little different than normal oil filters that I've seen. Correct. Here I have a sample for you. Okay. 
This is an older style metal housing. Okay, this, is what, okay. this is what a lot of people will recognize. Well, this is your new filter. And so that's obviously more environmentally friendly. Right. Oh, that's a huge benefit. That is a great benefit. Okay. So we're going to change the O-ring on this also. Okay. And then we're going to put this back in. that but of course you guys know that already and we, already, we had her on the low cap and we had our oil cap and then uh, as far as how many quarts it takes that's also in our owner manual but you will also tell us that as well correct so what do we have for this car how many quarts this will be four and a half quarts okay bam there we go all right well listen the uh, fast lane service seems to be complete as far as the oil change goes you guys put oil in it, you check my tire pressures, uh, you uh, make sure there's no leaks underneath it, what we got underneath uh, the car, and you make sure all my fluids are topped off and ready to go. So I'm ready to go. Excellent. Hopefully we're going to get you out of here within 30 minutes. That's our goal. Oh, fantastic. That sounds good. So can I go now or what else? You're pretty much ready. Okay, great. Fantastic. Can I get these? No, I need those. Oh, okay. There you go. Frank's flip for oil change for Frank Motors and Frank Toyota. Mm -hmm. 